in today's video, man, I'm talking about this 20 year old correctional officer that, you know, is facing felony charges for having sex with an inmate in Tennessee. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah Shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man I'm gonna post the uh, the link to the video down in the description box that way you guys can check it out but man not to, to, to bring shame to this lady but just to educate people out there that think they want to work in corrections men or women because this same thing happens in female prisons with male security guards and you know the point that I want to drive home is you don't need to have any lawless part of your life when I say law I'm talking about criminal uh, law federal government state law you don't need to be lawless be a violator of that working in a place where people that are violators of the law are being uh, held accountable, judgment is being issued, you don't need to work around that if you are not a standard bearer yourself. Because this young woman, let me tell you what basically happened. This 20 year old black girl, you know, starting her life off, probably had good intentions, but not knowing what she got herself into, found herself, you know, in a place with all of this, all of these men that ain't got nothing to do, sit there. And these men and women in these jails sit and watch. They ain't got nothing but time to be able to analyze, you know, the areas that you're strong in, to see what your weaknesses are, and to exploit you. And you gotta think, man, an inmate, you ain't got nothing to lose, you already in there. You already in there. But for somebody that, but for somebody that is doing this for a living and this is your livelihood, how you pay your bills, man, you see in the video, this woman was dolled up, all of this. And I'm here today to tell you that, man, if you work in a, a prison and you are around inmates, if you're a male working around females, inmates, if you are a female working around male inmates, male on male, female on female, man, I'm saying, you do not need to be uh, enhancing yourself, dolling yourself up, for what? For what on that job? Man, that is a, that is a position of authority and high level of responsibility and there needs to be a certain dominance exuded to be able to fulfill that. And you gotta think, man, you're dealing with inmates all day long. They're in there because of scheming and, and, and crime. And 20 years old, you know, we can look at we can look at her picture and tell that she's probably pretty naive, probably pretty gullible. And she fell for the okie doke as many correctional officers do. It's the same thing with these correctional officers be smuggling dope in for the inmates. And you don't think that you're gonna get caught? The criminals that you're smuggling the stuff in for got caught. And you're getting in the mix like, I'm telling you, some people are, are not suited for these jobs. Are not suited, because this kind of stuff happens with men and women. And the judge, you know, this the judge allowed this lady to bond out, but she's facing a, a class one felony and then a $3,000 fine. And the judge gave her 30 days to come back and find a, a defense counsel. But you gotta think, if they got you dead to rights, 
I mean, man, you're gonna you're walking out of there with a felony, regardless, because they they probably got video footage, they probably got statements. You know, don't don't have it to where somebody else caught you in the act and has to report as a mandatory. So I'm telling you, man, you cannot have everybody cannot be in a position of authority. Everybody does not know what to do with power. Because if you don't respect power and authority, you know, and respect those that are above you, as the word says, that have rule over you, what makes you think you're going to be able to fulfill that? And it sucks, man, because she's she's not the only one. We see this all the time. We saw, I want to say, in Atlanta, the doggone, uh, they're almost, I want to say like 13 correctional officers got arrested for, uh, if not correctional officers, it was the sheriff's department, got arrested for PPP loan fraud. I said, man, why would you want to be a standard bearer in the law and then go out and do all this crime? Do stuff that you know is against the law. Man, you have to think about when you are applying for these jobs out here, young men and women, man, what are the ramifications of me taking this job and me causing my own destruction? That's a different story if she was working at like Walmart and having sex with an employee and they got caught up. That's a different story. Because you're not placed in no high level of responsibility and, and visibility, you know, and scrutiny of the public eye, taxpayers. So they probably would have fired you and let you let you go on, but not not no not in no position where you are supposed to be uh, controlling good order and discipline and the health and welfare of inmates, and you getting your back blown in. You know these inmates, man, they'll sit up sick and watch looking for a naive guard, a guard that doesn't get that much attention, a guard that seems like she's got a control issue and they will slowly break her down. It's the same thing with a male guard. These people are waiting in their cell, serving their time opportunities. A male guard, man, they'll give you compliments, all of that. All it takes is one doggone uh, especially if you marry and you, your marriage ain't going right and they can tell your demeanor is off and they can get you to open up and confide in them and you fall in between them legs, hey, you're gonna get, you're gonna make headlines because of the position that you are in. I tell people, man, you don't need to be, if you're gonna do, you gotta, uh, let me put a, I'll put a clip in here, but you have a, uh, a black female governor that was sleeping with one of her employees and was exercising all of this authority over him. And when the relationship didn't work out, she still tried to force his hand, fire this man. And I'll tell you like, you don't need to be in these places of authority if you are not gonna do right. Because the penalty for being in a place of authority and the penalty for leaders is higher. People start looking at the money, the opportunity, the benefits. No, do you have the discipline to do the job? Because if you don't have the discipline and do the job, you're going to find out the hard way like this young lady. Closer to y'all ministry is kicking that thing gun barrel straight.